Today we're going to look at a hide you can build for your redfoots to put outside if you're like we are and they have the run of the backyard, the fenced in backyard, but still need a place to hide. It's a box we had made by the people at Habitat for Humanity. Stick around and find out why it's a great alternative for you. If you're like us and you can have your red foots or yellow foots outside for 8 to 12 months of the year, and if you don't have a heavily planted pen, you'll want to create a safe hide box for them. This is the one we had built by Local Habitat for Humanity here for $50, and it works perfectly as an outside hide box for two adults. Now this one is 24 inches long by 20 inches wide and 20 inches deep. The opening is 15 inches across and 9 inches high so they both have easy entry and exit uh, capabilities even if both try to get in or out at the same time. It has a hinge top so we can easily open it and grab them if we need to, storm hits or something, and holes the top on all sides to vent any heat. And as you'll see later we have this next to our fence under a maple tree in the backyard with the opening facing south. It's in the shade all day until about 5 p.m., which is when redfoot beaks become active and they'll go out and start searching for food. It's made from cheap plywood, and because it's going to stay outside for most of the year, I need to make it able to handle the sun, rain, and humidity here in North Texas. So to make it waterproof, I'm going to spray it with Flex Seal. You can also buy the paint version of Flex Seal, but no store near us had it when I wanted to get this done, so I used a few cans of the white spray version. As you can tell, with one, one coat on, it's not going to look pretty, but this is what one coat, a couple of cans, did. You can see I'm spray painting it white. It's eventually going to get there. And I'm also doing the bottom. I want to make sure that the bottom gets well and done. And this is, some parts of this had a second coat on there, but just to show you, spray inside, spray outside. It's not going to be a problem for your red foots whatsoever. But get it all good and spray it all the way around. It takes a while to dry. And then you get to the point where, as you can see, that's pretty much what it looks like. It's out in our yard. And then we ordered from Amazon this piece of grass. We'll show you here in a minute. Perfectly fit. Fits right inside and we just fold up the side and there they go. You are good to go. Well, there's our box and there's my mail just kind of hanging out. He was in the box earlier today. So I filmed this. It's a June, end of June day. It's about five o'clock. In the afternoon, it's 84 degrees, it's about 90% humidity because we had rain overnight. It's very, very damp, so they're having a wonderful day outside. But there's an example of that box that we've built. And you can see it's in a shady part at the moment. It's shaded for the most part during the day. They just hang out in there for the more better part of the day. Then come out and start wandering around, usually about this time of day. He's just hanging out right there. He's been chomping on various weeds there in the general area. But There we go. Female. She's up on the other, she's back in the bin, just hanging out, just the mail out uh, today. So there you go. There's an outdoor hide you can build that they'll thoroughly enjoy if you, like us, let them actually have, let them have the run of the backyard along with the dogs. Till next time. Thanks for watching this video on these truly unique tortoises. Now if you're interested in learning more about these wonderful animals or want to become an expert on redfoot or yellowfoot tortoises, you can because I've created a complete care and husbandry video course that has all aspects of their diet, indoor and outdoor pens, breeding, and their health covered for you. It's over an hour's worth of information distilled from my 16 plus years of working with redfoots and I think you'll enjoy it and find the information valuable. Check out the link at the top right or below in the description. And thanks again for your interest in these unique tortoises.